hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I want to talk about uh, a small miner that solar mines Bitcoin and it's called nerd miner or nerd miners uh, this version is called nerd miner uh, version 2 it's a small Bitcoin uh, miner where it mines Bitcoin on a solo pool and it doesn't have it just bring you some kilo hash but it costs you two three watts of power usage and it's uh, extremely low it's this is nothing that you will uh, see that uh, affect your power bill or anything you can just have it running on your uh, computer or something some, some else power connection it doesn't utilize enough a uh, huge a lot of power and I just got mine uh, I just connected it up it goes up and down with the hash rate uh, actually it's kilo hash rate it never gets to mega hash rate or tera hash rate or anything but that's the meaning with this thing. This is, as you can see in the picture here, you have valid block zero, you have block templates, uh, best difficulty, 32 bits of shares, and down here you can see a million of share hashes. And uh, in my video today, I'm not going to say that you're going to buy this, but if you want to try your luck, this is the lottery. Uh, you probably win more on <laughs> daily lottery uh, from your hometown or from your country than you win on nerd miner but why not try we have around one month and we are in the second halving of not the second I think it's the third halving of Bitcoin and then we're going to jump we have four more years so I will just have my s running on my s on the side of my computer. It's very easy to set up. I'm going to show you some easy um, guidance t to how you can uh, set your nerd miner up. It's cheap. I think I paid this on the Norwegian side around fifty dollars. So it's very cheap. Uh, the first thing you want to do. I will put everything I have, uh, everything that you see on my web web page. I will link down in the description. But uh, here's a nerd my setup guide, and I followed. Uh, there are two th th there are two guides on this setup guide. You have step one and you have step two. Uh, what I did, I followed step one, setting up nerd miner the educational way. Uh, I went to this uh, link here at github it looks like this and I downloaded this file uh, this file this file and the f latest firmware file and that's what they ask you to do in this uh, educational way too after that I went to this web page I launched the ESP tool as they ask you to do I did this in Google Chrome. I didn't do it. Uh, my favorite uh, uh, browser is actually Opera, but I have also Google Chrome installed on my computer, so I use Google Chrome. I recommend using Google Chrome. So I open uh, this page. You can look here, and it and it will ask you to baud rate when you have connected your uh, I think you have to connect it after yes when you open this page you will be asked to select the uh, board rate 115200 uh, when you have connected your nerd miner uh, with USB C cable and this is a very important the USB C cable must be a cable that can provide both data and power it cannot be a cable that just provides data so you have to be sure of that when you have done that 
Uh, you go here, uh, enter connect, you will get a window. Uh, you will get a black window down here that said, says connect and you will have to, you will be asked to uh, attach some files. Uh, when you attach some files, you want to attach a bootloader and you, this is the important one. Remember to select the s uh, corresponding numbers and letters before the name of the bin file. But it, it, it explains you in this uh, folder here what you have to connect. And as you can see in this image here, uh, you can't see it very good, but you see you choose bootloader and sometimes you have more zeros, sometimes you have one more uh, other uh, number, like one and then the four zeros. These ones have to correspond with the files you have downloaded, if not, it will not work. When you finish with that, you click the click on the program and you wait for process to complete. After that, you disconnect and reconnect the power lead. And the disconnecting and reconnecting, you don't have to do anything. Just drag the plug out, the USB C cable, and connect it back in. And and you can do this through your ordinary USB C connection on your computer computer. After a few moments, you to see a uh, hash, uh, not a hashtag. Um, I will show you a picture. Just hold on. Before you see this screen, you will see a screen uh, with a QR code. Uh, if you open your phone, you can either use a QR code, or you can use your phone and you can search for your Wi-Fi on your phone. On on your Wi-Fi, the Nerdman is not set up correctly, but you got this uh, QR code. Uh, you could find uh, your Nerdminer version 2 on your internet uh, listing page where you can see on your phone how many internet pages you have. Uh, it not pages, internet um, connections that you can connect to. And when you have done that, you will eventually see a template like this. And you will want you want to hit configure Wi-Fi here. Now it's very important that you remember the SSID of your Wi-Fi. That's the your Wi-Fi name and the password of it. And if uh, if you can copy your Bitcoin wallet address. Uh, when you get into your configure Wi-Fi, because you have to input your uh, Bitcoin wallet address. If if you go back now, you have to reconnect and you have to uh, input all of the data again. So remember the as the name of your network SSID. Remember the password of your network. Uh, and then copy your Bitcoin wallet address. Don't write it down, just copy it. Because if you write it down, you lose a letter, and if you hit a block, and you have written one letter ro uh, wrong, or uh, one number wrong, you will not get the money. Uh, or the Bitcoin, the crypto. So just remember to do that correctly. After you've done that, you will see a screen like this. The buttons up and down. Uh, you can change different views. You can do some changes. The button on the side below, uh, on the side, resets it if you hold this uh, this screen, this this uh, nice uh, T display screen. It will reset everything if you hold it too long. But if you're sure of your Bitcoin address and your connections are correct, everything, uh, don't change the pool address or anything. Just keep it like this. Just input your SSID for your internet name, the name of your Wi-Fi, then the password of your Wi-Fi, and the correct address to your Bitcoin wallet. And the rest will, uh, it will figure out everything on its own. It's a great uh, 
It doesn't cost you anything. You wouldn't see it on your bill. And it can run for hours. This is a lottery. Uh, very few people in the world have ever uh, managed to resolve and uh, and resolve and uh, and uh, get paid the block reward of Bitcoin solely. But I have some have been some few moments. So why not? Just let it keep running. Keep it running for as many years you can. Don't cost you anything. So I have my up and running. Uh, mine is around 77 kilohertz per second. It's not a lot, but suddenly I hit a block. And you never know. It's a lottery. So that's how Nerd Miner version 2 works. Give it a try if you want, if you want to try your luck. You never know. That's the video for today, guys. I will come back with another video. I have some interesting video when it comes to my mining at the moment. And I will update you on how, uh, how my mine is going. And I have an um, opportunity, you guys, if you want to invest in mining software. I have available different mining uh, software and hardware uh, that will could gain you some great profit, depending on what your investment is based on. So, until then, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up button. And until next time. I see you later. Have a nice day and cheers.